How you all doing? In this video I will be removing the old wheel bearings from my Honda CBR1000F 1988 and replacing them with shiny new ones. So let's get on with it. Okay then, so to get the wheel bearings out let's put them on a, put your wheel on some wood to make a step so the bearing can drop out the bottom. Inside there is a tube like this which stops you from getting to the lip of the bearings when you push a drift down there like this there's nothing to catch on to so what you have to do is put that to one side and try and tap the tube tap it to one side now you can see it's just about catching on something Do this side. Just keep going round persevering. On this wheel the tube inside is quite tight because it's compressed with the wheel bearings. So this one is proving difficult. See the problem I'm having is the tube is not moving because the bearings are compressed on it too tight. Let me try the other side first. keep going from side to side is that it? there we go so there's the two bots inside and there's the knackered bearing now what we've got to do is get this one out Keep going from side to side. Here we go. There's the other bearing and the dust seal. Pretty crummy. So if only you could hear the sound of that. See if you could hear it on my microphone. This one is just the same. Totally shot. Yes, the guy who had this bike last certainly made sure he got his money worth out of it. Okay, so before I install the new bearings, I'll just get a bit of Henry paper, go round the uh, go round the seat very carefully just to get rid of any corrosion and 
There you go, shouldn't need any more than that. Don't want to go too mad. Same on the other side. That's for that side, and that's for the other side. Feels so beautiful. Okay, so we just try and get that in nice and uh, level. Now we just use an old socket, making sure it stays on the outer taper and not going on the inner taper. And then, then just whack it gently. Checking that it's nice and level. <laughs> try not to use a try not to use a rusty socket like me. Just go from side to side, that's exaggerated. But you know, just go from side to side. And then you will hear the change in sound to say that you're definitely home. So that's that side. Don't forget to insert our tunnel. <laughs> Get the new bearing. Don't think it matters which way round it goes. There you go. it so it's nice and level I think this socket might be too big now this socket's a bit too big but it just fit on the edge nicely and uh, it will take me to the up of the wheel Okay, so we're not going to go any more than that because we're up to the face. But the bearings, but the bearing's not home yet, so we're going to have to find another socket. Okay, I think this one will do. Perfect. You can tell we're there because of the sound change. Okay, then if we go back to the other side, get our new dust seal, put a bit of uh, rubber grease on it just to help it find its way home. Let's drop that in there. There we go. That should be perfectly fine. OK, 
Okay, so that's the wheel. Now let's do the sprocket. Okay, so here's the sprocket. There's the bearing. I must say this one feels perfectly fine, but we have spent 20 quid on a new set, so we may as well change it. I've got my bulb stuck. Uh, I've got my bulb stuck. Try and get these bolts and these bits of wood if you don't want to damage your paintwork like I don't. Uh, there's no uh, circlips or anything on these, so nothing to worry about there. So, all I need now is a good drift. Yes, it's going. Well, there and there. That one there. That's better. Six messing about, don't it? There we are. Okay, so now we've got to get the new one in. Okay, so just uh, slot it in and try and keep it as level as you can. have to get a socket the size of this arteries which I don't think I've got so I'm just going to use the old bearing for now careful because we don't want to get this bearing stuck inside it so that we can get that out <laughs> there we go and then we want the uh, dust seal again put some uh, rubber grease around it again <laughs> so there you go oh I installed my rear wheel bearings on my CBR 1000F 1988 hopefully this video is useful to you and hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it go check out the landfill bike build